The Sahara Desert, a harsh and unforgiving landscape, is facing a growing crisis. Desertification. This relentless process is transforming fertile land into barren wastelands, threatening the livelihoods of millions. But could there be a surprising solution hiding in the wind? In this video, we'll explore the possibility that wind turbines can play a significant role in combating Sahara desertification. Can these towering structures harness the desert's powerful winds to restore a once vibrant ecosystem? Understanding Desertification Desertification is the degradation of land, particularly in arid and semi-arid regions, leading to a loss of productivity and biodiversity. It is caused by a combination of factors, including climate change, overgrazing, deforestation, and unsustainable farming practices. At the heart of nomad life is animals. Ensuring their survival shapes this community's existence. So valuable they are to nomads that they're often referred to as blood wealth. Didi's day begins at sunrise. Climate change, with rising temperatures and altered rainfall patterns, accelerates desertification. Overgrazing by livestock strips the land of vegetation, making it vulnerable to erosion, while deforestation disrupts ecosystems and reduces soil moisture. Poor farming techniques, such as monoculture and overcultivation, deplete soil nutrients, contributing further to land degradation. The Sahara Desert, once a fertile region, has experienced severe desertification in recent decades. This has led to significant soil erosion, where strong winds and heavy rains erode the topsoil, leaving the land barren and infertile. The loss of vegetation has caused a decline in biodiversity, putting many plant and animal species at risk of extinction. Additionally, desertification exacerbates climate change by reducing the Earth's ability to absorb carbon dioxide. The consequences extend to human populations as well, as desertification forces people to abandon their homes, leading to displacement and associated social and economic challenges. Nomad life has always been hard and continues to be for Mauritania's remaining 200,000 nomads. The potential of wind power. How wind turbines could help. Renewable energy sources like wind power offer a clean and sustainable alternative to fossil fuels, helping to mitigate climate change by reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Wind turbines harness the power of the wind to generate electricity without producing harmful pollutants. In desert environments, where wind speeds are often high, wind turbines can be particularly effective. While the arid conditions may present challenges for infrastructure development, the abundant wind resources make the Sahara an ideal location for large-scale wind power projects. Wind turbines convert the kinetic energy of the wind into electricity through a process involving blades, a generator, and a transmission system. By generating electricity from a renewable source, wind turbines reduce our reliance on fossil fuels, such as coal and natural gas, which contribute significantly to greenhouse gas emissions. The electricity produced by wind turbines can also be used to power desalination plants, which remove salt and other impurities from seawater to produce fresh water. This is particularly beneficial in regions with limited freshwater resources, such as the Sahara Desert. Desalinated water can be used for agriculture, drinking, and industrial purposes, helping to address water scarcity issues. Additionally, wind turbines can indirectly contribute to soil stabilization. By reducing the speed of wind, they can help to prevent wind erosion, which can lead to soil loss and degradation. It can be a vast and merciless environment. Yet for centuries, people have survived across these sun-baked plains. This can promote the growth of vegetation, which further stabilizes the soil and helps to improve soil health. Challenges and considerations. Environmental impacts. While wind turbines offer a renewable energy source, they can also have environmental impacts. One concern is the potential harm to wildlife, particularly birds and bats, 
which may collide with the turbines. To mitigate this risk, careful sighting and design of WAN farms are crucial. Additionally, the visual impact of WAN turbines on the landscape can be a concern, especially in sensitive areas. Economic factors. Installing large-scale wind turbine projects in the Sahara requires significant investment in infrastructure, including transmission lines and grid connections. The economic benefits of these projects can include job creation during construction and operation, as well as increased energy independence and reduced reliance on fossil fuels. However, the costs of wind power projects can be high and the long-term economic viability of such ventures depends on factors like energy prices, government policies, and technological advancements. Technological Limitations While wind power technology has advanced significantly, there are still some technological challenges to overcome in desert environments. For example, the extreme temperatures and sandstorms in the Sahara can pose challenges for the durability and maintenance of wind turbines. Additionally, the remote and isolated nature of the region can make it difficult to access and repair equipment, potentially increasing costs and downtime. The Sahara Desert, once a fertile region, is now facing the devastating effects of desertification. Wind turbines offer a promising solution to mitigate this environmental crisis. By generating clean energy, powering desalination plants, and indirectly contributing to soil stabilization, wind power can help to restore the desert's ecosystem and improve the livelihoods of local communities. As individuals, we can play a crucial role in addressing climate change and environmental degradation. By learning more about renewable energy sources like wind power, supporting sustainable practices, and advocating for policies that promote environmental protection, we can help create a healthier and more sustainable future for ourselves and generations to come. The Sahara Desert, a symbol of resilience and adaptation, stands as a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of our planet's ecosystems. Can we harness the power of nature to restore this iconic landscape and create a more sustainable world? The answer lies in our collective commitment to innovation, cooperation, and a renewed respect for the Earth.